Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here, welcome you back to Let's Play Freedom Fighters, part 5. Uh, the reason I started back down here was because I was hoping it was going to catch in time, but uh, quick saves cannot be used after exiting gameplay, which it tells you that when you make one, so I just thought I'd let you guys know that. Just want to let you guys in on some more information. So last time we started clearing out this area and one of the other areas after getting some C4 in it and making some Soviets kill their own people. Because we're such great people, making them kill themselves. Well, they're Soviets. I don't care. I don't mind. There are enemies. We must kill them. Oh, crap. Those are submachine gun enemies. Uh, the submachine gun has, I believe, maybe a 40-round clip? I don't exactly remember. I think it has a 40-round clip, though. It's got a really high rate of fire, but I just don't tend to see enough submachine gun using enemies to find it that worthwhile to use. I would probably use it a little bit more if there were some more cases of it. Now, these guys, I would think, would sometimes have sniper rifles. Yeah, because there's a sniper rifle right there. Okay, so our freedom fighters have survived, surprisingly. I mean... Dude, will you do something, please? That was really close. Will you guys please do something to the large number of enemies that are apparently somehow getting in here and hurting us? There we go. Now we got them. I think most areas of the game, though, are actually infinite enemy spawn points. I'm not totally sure, but I think many areas of the game have infinite enemy spawn points. I'm running. That was close. Sheesh, game. Give me a break. Come on, guys. You gotta come help me out here now. Oh, great. Another one of them went down. Okay. I'm just gonna continue on because we don't really have time or health kits to spare. When it comes down to it, I'll head back to the Rebel base in between this level and the next level we go to, just so that we can resupply. Because we are running really low on supplies. A lot lower than I normally am at this point in the game. I mean, we're surviving, which is what matters. And we're not really dying. I've only died once. And we actually have more ammo, I think, than I did on my last run through. I think I'm doing a little bit better on ammo this time around. Man, all three of them went down again. Man. You guys are usually better than this. Okay, so there's my stats for this level. Very nice. And we're going to head back to the Rebel base so we can resupply on equipment. Because we are running very, very low on equipment. Let's go on back to the Rebel base, please. Thank you. So our health is refilled. We get some charisma for taking out that flag. And actually now there are shotguns, the revolver, and submachine guns here. Which that submachine gun looks kind of like the PP-90. I'm not sure if that's true. The shotgun, I'm assuming, is the SPAS-12, and the assault rifle is probably the AK-47. I'm not sure what the pistol is. I think it's probably the Beretta M9, but I'm not totally sure about that. So as you can see, uh, we've now resupplied on health kits, which is what matters. And I, I thought you resupplied on grenades. Maybe you don't. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. So the harbor has really? been rescued, I believe. Yes, everything's done here. So now we're going to head off to the hotel. Now, had we not done that first at the hotel, this would be a lot more difficult because a helicopter would be bearing down on us, which I think I told you guys before is what would happen. So... Let's begin, shall we? Brooklyn Hotel, loading. Load faster, please. Thank you very much. Hey, yo, boss. There's some serious oh, dynamite in the diamond. Okay, we're going to make the Soviets kill their own people again. But it makes more sense to me that we go on and go in here and grab those two health kits. So we don't necessarily need to wipe out the diner again. 
Instead, what we want to do is head this way and try not to get shot that much. Oh, we made it through without much damage. Very nice. Pull out. Move. We're going to hope the Soviets choose to be smart and follow us. Oh, we want to kill you, though, just so that you don't end up making a problem for us. And we're going to run around this way. I failed at this level a lot on my practice file. I have no idea why. Just this sub area in particular caused me a lot more trouble than it normally does on my practice file. Okay, Soviets, you're gonna kill your own kind now. Okay, we're gonna free our prisoners now. Ah, uh, what you want to do for them is just come up to them, and now we have to get them back to the red, to the uh, rebel base. Now we have to somehow get across this street. Ah, uh, in here I believe are going to be more freedom fighters. Yep. Let's go on and recruit him. Regroup. Do it. No health kits down here. That's a bit of a surprise. Unfortunately, the prisoners can't really help you. Wow, man, he just got destroyed. We had so many of our freedom fighters here. Now, if you were to go back to the rebel base to say, you know, resupply on health kits during like the middle of a mission, during the middle of a sub area, it wouldn't necessarily penalize you that much because you'd be able to resupply your gear. But what would happen is it would make it basically impossible for you to, uh, or you'd have to, the enemies would come back too. That's what I'm trying to say. So what I want to do here is make a quick save real quick. Now, you never want to actually like transit to anywhere while you have prisoners with you because sometimes it'll glitch out and the prisoner's charisma won't register. That's why I'm doing this. I'm just making a quick save and obviously just because I want to have a checkpoint. Okay, quick save complete. And we're going to let both of them go in. So unfortunately, it's not enough to help us lead another freedom fighter just yet. There's another one back here if we were to have enough charisma for him. Oh crap, uh, that's a cheap shot, dude. Could have at least waited till I got up. Wow, he had six grenades on him, wow. Okay, cool. Oh, he's got a sniper rifle. That's bad, like those snipers, they can tear you up pretty quickly, so you do not want to be caught against a sniper, usually. Uh, fall damage, I think I said that before, it can hurt you kind of badly. Okay, they're dead. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Move in. Bring it on. Okay, screw you. As long as I make it in, I really don't care. Okay, he would not die. I don't really have a choice but to use the pistol right now. Okay, we're alive. That was very close, but we are alive. At least two of them are. Okay, one of them is. The longer he can survive, the better, but... Oh, yes, my favorite song is coming on, guys. The Battle for Freedom. And all my freedom fighters have gone down. God, I swear, their AI usually isn't as bad as it has been so far on this project. Like, they have been dying a lot more than normal. Like, I swear, they usually are smarter than this, but they have gone down a lot so far, this project. But you know what? Let's hoist the flag to victory and get the heck out of this area. Because I didn't die in it this time. Very nice. Okay, so now that the stats are on, what the, look at that, look at the background, that colonel's like, what is he doing, what, <laughs> what is he doing, is he like trying to rape me or something, <laughs> I've never seen that happen before, I swear, I've never seen that happen before, okay, enough laughs, let's head off to the fire station. <laughs> I have never seen that happen before. That's kind of funny. <laughs> He's like, I want to be in the picture too. I want to be famous on the internet in front of 14 people. Well, the 14 views that at the time this is being recorded, I have on my very first video of Freedom Fighters. 
Even though I have almost 300 subscribers, but anyway. I have never seen that happen before. Hmm. Good day for me. Ah, I was thirsty. Okay. Hmm, running on about 10 minutes, 11 minutes. 10, 11, I don't know. I can't count because I can't see the thing that clearly. Even though my eyesight is 2015, but that's to be, that's not important. Okay. Follow me. For you. You're the, answer, You're the only one here? Yes, you are. Get over here. Both Come of you on. and heal you. So now we can have four freedom fighters with us. Very nice. I know that there's going to be pistol ammo in a second, so that's why I'm using this. This level can tend to be either really easy or really hard. And I put it more in the middle of those two. Like, I wouldn't consider it to be overly challenging, but it's definitely more challenging than some of the other levels in the game. A lot of pistol ammo back here and health kits. Or a health kit, I think. Be nice if we could get another freedom fire. Oh, sorry, sorry. You shouldn't sneak up on me like that, dude. Okay, don't have that much ammo though, which is kind of unfortunate. We got a fair amount of pistol ammo, but I want more, you know, assault rifle ammo. Nice. Oh, sweet, someone's actually using that machine gun? Wow, someone's being intelligent? Oh my god, a freedom fighter is being intelligent during the project because they haven't done it so far. Oh wow, you you seriously just rushed in. Wow, dude, you are a true... It would have been so ironic if he had been a Soviet, like a, a Soviet that we recruited, because that would have just been like, Soviet charge into battle, we don't care if we lose 30 million of us. Because if I remember correctly, I mean, yes, the Soviet Union definitely helped us win the war, once uh, Nazi Germany started first attack them. But didn't they lose, like, twice as many soldiers as any other country? Okay. Apparently the game does not like me blaming the Soviets for stuff. Or talking about them in any sort of bad way, because... Well, at least I don't have to make an extra video now of getting run over by the stupid car. So, you guys got to see it anyway. Yeah, that is what happens if you get run over by the car. It is really, really freaking annoying. I don't know why they put that into the game. That is one of the few major criticisms I have of this game. That is definitely one of them, is that stupid armored car. And it's going to be in the next area, too. I just, I don't know why they put it into the game. I mean, it's just annoying as heck to deal with. Get over here! I don't know. It's a great game, but just, I don't really agree with the armored car deal. Get owned. Okay, got some more pistol ammo. Pick some more up in that, that medical kit. Okay. Ammo for pistol is actually full. Very nice. Pull out, everybody. All right, guys, let's go. Oh crap! Where do they come from? Did you guys seriously just spawn in like that? Really? Come on, this isn't Call of Duty. You're not supposed to spawn in like that. God, I've been making fun of stuff a lot this video. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to insult the Soviet Union. I mean. They definitely helped us, but I am just saying I, I think the methods by which they helped to win the war were a bit questionable, because if I remember correctly, they lost twice as many soldiers as any other nation fighting in the war. Now, I could be very wrong on that stat, because it's been a while since I've read anything about that, but I don't think I'm really that far off, because I know they lost a lot of soldiers, so... I'm going to be more careful here so I don't get run over by the stupid armored car again. There it is, down there. Is that... No, that wasn't it. Okay, well, whatever. Pull back. Where is he? Okay. You can actually jump and shoot, which is kind of helpful. Okay, we're going to get out of here before the armored car drops any more soldiers on us, so let's get out of here. Uh, for whatever reason, there's just this little, like, area back here. I don't know why it's there, because, like, there's nothing back here that I know of, so... Because usually little hidden areas like that have stuff in them. Like, I believe there is a something right over here, actually. Maybe some more Freedom Fighters or something, because it's like a little 
Yeah, it's a little bit out of the way, so there's a little bit of stuff here. I wish it was a little bit better. Let's recruit those two. Let's grab those medical kits. Uh, is there a... No, there's no manhole here. Hmm, okay. Unfortunately, we still don't have a lot of ammo, which is quite unfortunate, but at least now we've got four soldiers. Great. Just great. Did you guys see how far that guy flew, though? I mean, he was freaking airborne, man. Okay, we're not going to revive him. We're just going to recruit you instead. Sorry, dude, but I just don't have health kits to spare. Well, actually, yeah, I do, but... I prefer just to save them for when there's no Freedom Fighters laying around. I mean, I know it's kind of jerkish just to leave them behind like that. But in this video game, I mean, you it is tough. And, you know, if this mission, this particular sub-area gives you a lot of Freedom Fighters, if I remember correctly. Especially later on. There's like a ton of them later on. So really, I'm not all that worried about that because there's plenty of them later on. So... You gotta do whatever's gonna work better, you know. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the sniper rifle real quick. Uh, it's annoying because a headshot is the only way a one-hit kill a standard enemy. Otherwise, it could take up to three or four to one-hit kill a standard enemy. Now, it doesn't sway or anything, which is nice. I just don't like it. It's also kind of slow, but shooting him in the chest just doesn't do anything, and that's why I don't like it. Okay, I think I... Is there a guy in here? Oh, he's dead already. Nice job, guys. You killed him. And it's slow, too. And it, I mean, it's just, it's hard to use, honestly. Nice, leaving yourself vulnerable. I'll take that. Swap over. Thank you very much. Hmm. We're in a little low on time. Oh, crap. Really? Jerk. No! Uh, great. Of course I said this area isn't all that bad and now I can't do anything in it. So now I've died twice in this video, even though one was really that stupid armored car and that really shouldn't count. So guys, I'm just gonna stop the video here and I'll meet you guys back where we were up in that building. God, this is not going well. See you guys then.